Hello, everybody. Finding your room for the air? Oh, wait a minute. That's not right. There we go. That's better. Hello, everybody. Finding your room for the air? And today we're on Steam.com where we have an update by Scott for an upcoming project's mega thread. And he's posted it yesterday, so let's get started. Hey, everyone. I've been promising an update, so here it is. There are a lot of great things being worked on, and most of them will arrive in 2019, including new ports, new games, and new books. The movie progress is still slow, but that's okay because I want to get it right. Everything else, however, is moving full speed ahead. So let's get down to the movie news, because I know everybody's been waiting for this. Five Nights at Freddy's first movie, new script being worked on. Okay guys, I have a script written, Jason liked it, and Chris Columbus liked it too, but I tossed it. I had a different idea for it, one that I liked better. I take responsibility for this delay, it's my fault. It's been a real challenge for everyone, including myself, to come up with a good screenplay for this. But I determined to find the right story. I'm sticking to what I already said. Either the right movie gets made, or no movie gets made. I hate delaying a project that's already seen so many delays, but I have to go with my instincts of what I think will be exciting and interesting. And what I think the fan base will really want to see. If that means that I have to start over 10 more times, then that's what I'm going to do. The good thing is that each attempt gets better and better, in my opinion. So, despite the delays, it's going in the right direction. That's the good news. One thing that most of you might want to know is that the movie and sequels, I hope, will take place in the universe of FNAF 1 through 3 only. So no more, so no FNAF 4 or sister location above. It stops at 3. The games at the Five Nights at Freddy's 3 will not exist in the movie universe. Like it or hate it. I felt that this was the best portion of the storyline to really focus on. So yeah, I understand Scott has to take his time because knowing that a movie coming out, I don't blame him. He wants the movie to be right and prepared perfectly. So it doesn't want to be done ASAP. So you have everything all, all wrong. You want to just right. You want to focus on it being right. So yeah, I'm very patient. So Scott, keep doing what you're doing. I don't care how long it takes. Just keep doing what you're doing so it can be right and really perfect. And now for the game projects. Finance at Freddy's VR, 40% complete. This game is looking terrific. I'm working with a company called Steel Wool to bring the VR game to life. And these guys are making some crazy stuff. If you like preparing Funtime Freddy up close to Sis location, just wait until you try to do something like that in VR. Up close. Oh man. Personal, with these huge animatronics that are just one mistake away from jumping at you. I refused to test it the first time and had my son Brayden test it instead. <laughs> I see that. The repair section is one small part of the game. And for the first time, you're going to all get to see an actual stage performance from the classic band. Wow, that's going to be really exciting. We've never seen animatronics perform before, like during the game. But knowing that the VR doing Funtime Freddy, since we all did that at Sister Location up close, or we pushed that button and he jump scared you. Just imagine seeing that in VR, you're going to be really terrified and spooked out for what's about to come to you. But yeah, that's going to be really terrifying, so I can't wait to see this one get done soon. And now for the FNAF AR, 10% complete. The AR game is well underway, and while I'm not going to reveal any gameplay details yet, I will say that the impending doom of something hunting you will keep you up at night. Now that really sounds terrifying. Knowing that happening, that's going to really keep you up all night knowing that something's about to go down. But we don't know that yet, so we gotta wait and see in the future. And now for this one that really excites everybody, the FNAF Into Madness, a new game that's zero completed. This is the next game that I want to work on myself someday, a compilation of several previous gameplay ideas in the same vein as Update 2. Just a free game for the fan base. There isn't a guarantee that it will happen though. I'm still recovering for the first four years. So there's a new game being developed and it hasn't started yet, but they're working on it right now. So, so far they got the name in, Into Madness. But some tells me it might not happen till like, maybe next year or probably too. But we don't know. But we know now that there's a new game being worked on. So, we can't wait to see how this one's going to be like. I'm really excited for this. And now for the exciting part. The console ports 20% complete. I'm working closely with the people at Click Team to create new, improved HD ports of all of the original games. They will be released on Android, iOS, Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation. Now, this is the best part because I definitely fall in love with the Switch. I've fallen in love with the Switch and seeing how FNAF is coming to the Switch is really going to bring my hype to it. And PlayStation mostly. 
and Android and iOS, that's going to be the best for it, and Xbox. But most importantly, my favorite is the Switch. So to all you people who don't have a PC, now you guys can play and enjoy the FNAF games on your consoles, because I tell you, the FNAF games are pretty awesome, and we might have new FNAF fan base people coming sooner than you think. And now for the best part, the triple A game that's zero completed, but we'll get to that soon. There's a big deal in the works to create an incredible big budget game. I can't reveal any details yet as this project is still in its planning stages, but I'm working closely with the studio involved to ensure that it delivers what I think FNAF fans will want to see. So this is the part that has me excited. This might have a free roam and better graphics than any other stuff in this game. This will be the best part that many FNAF fans will really definitely enjoy. So Scott has this one right. This is the part that really FNAF fans will really want to see. And we don't know when it's going to be released. Probably two years. We don't know if it's coming out in 2019 or 2020. But we know for sure that this is going to be the best hype game that might come out. So we're going to be staring at our screens all day knowing which more details is going to be coming out first. So depending which one comes out first, pretty sure everybody's hoping for the AAA game soon. But we're looking to hear more about it. So let's get on to the new book series. There is a new line of books on the way from Scholastic. This will be very different from the original book series as it will be a collection of short horror stories that takes place in the FNAF universe. The series will launch with five books, each containing three different short stories with unique characters and plot lines, some connected directly to the games and some not. And you see that last post, that's everything for now, time for more coffee. <laughs> yeah I understand Scott. More coffee meaning there's going to be a lot of work being developed in all these games that he's going to be working very hard for us. Even though I've been reading the books, they have been really, really interesting and I'm falling in love with it. So I can't wait to see more new series of the five books that are coming out soon. But yeah, thank you Scott for letting us know what you're working on and giving us hype for all these games that you're really about to release soon. But let me know what you guys are excited about more. Are you excited for the AAA game, console ports, new book series, FNAF Into Madness, FNAF AR, FNAF VR, or the new movie projects that's coming soon, you think? But yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I'll get to you soon. And when there's more details coming, I'll let you guys know about it. But until then, thank you all for sticking around for the video, and I'll see you guys later. Mm.